Monkey, are you ready for an amazing adventure? Oh, yes, please. I have my adventure book in my backpack and I can't wait to add a new stamp. Today, we're going to learn about mosaics and Romans. Romans? Yes, the Romans ruled over Britain 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years? Wow, that's, that's even older than my nan. Much older, Monkey. Wow, I can't wait. Ready? Steady. Go. Top Nanny! to Fishbourne Roman Palace, Chichester. I have some questions. First, why are they called Romans? They're called Romans, Monkey, because they originally came from Rome in Italy. Rome? Romans? Oh, clever, yes. <laughs> oh, um, why doesn't this look like a palace? It looks just like a normal building. This is a museum, Monkey. The original Roman palace was built 2,000 years ago. Sadly, there's only a little bit left inside for us to see, as the rest has crumbled away. Uh, but if the Romans were here such a long time ago, why do we still learn about them? When the Romans came to the UK, they brought lots of great things and ideas to improve life here. They brought new vegetables like carrots and herbs like basil to make our food even tastier. They built underground drains that took away dirty water and sewage from their homes. We even think that Roman soldiers found the weather so cold here that they were the first ones to wear socks with their sandals. Socks with sandals? <laughs> well, I don't need to do that because I've already got furry feet. <laughs> yes, you have. Shall we go inside and see what else we can find out? Oh, yes. Come on, furry feet. We're now inside the old palace. What do you notice about the floors? Oh, um, it looks like someone's drawn pictures all over them. Those weren't drawn on. In Roman times, they'd use tiny stones and gems of all different colours to create pictures and patterns to decorate the floors and walls of their buildings. They call these mosaics. They look like giant jigsaw puzzles to me. Yes, they do, Monkey. And you probably see mosaics most days, like in a bathroom or at a swimming pool or even as artwork in a public space. They are great because they're hard-wearing and easy to clean. Oh, yes. Shall we take a look at some of the ancient Roman designs? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> oh, this mosaic looks nice, doesn't it? Yes, Monkey. Lovely patterns. <laughs> looks a bit like a carpet. It does. Rich Romans use mosaics to show off their wealth. Some are very fancy. Oh, this one is beautiful, isn't it? It is. What can you see? Um, ooh, is that a seahorse? Yes, Monkey. That could be a dragon. <laughs> I think you're right. And a vase. That's pretty. Oh, I wonder how they did it. Well, Monkey, each mosaic would take ages to build because each stone has to be put down one by one. One by one? That would take forever. <laughs> Very true. The mosaics are stuck to the ground with cement, which is why they've lasted so many years. Ooh, 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 I'd love to learn how to make a mosaic. You know, I think I would make one with a banana in it. <laughs> Great idea, Monkey. Let's see how some milkshakers make theirs. Adventures! The milkshakers are being inspired by the Romans. Today, we are going to be making mosaic cards. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> the milkshakers have got lots of shiny squared pieces of paper and some sticks of glue to help them create their designs. To start, they grab a tile from the pile and put some glue on the back. And just like the Romans, they lay down their tiles one at a time. Ooh, there's some interesting designs going on here. This milkshaker is putting her tiles close together in a line, whilst this milkshaker is fanning her tiles across the paper. <laughs> Oh, it's hard not to stick your fingers together. Hmm, I think I know what these green tiles are leading to. Yes, I was right, a flower! These mosaics are really coming together. The milkshakers are making the final touches to their designs. Wow, look how the tiles shine in the light. 
To finish them off, the milkshakers have to stick their design to a folded piece of card. And the milkshaker's Roman-inspired cards are complete! <laughs> Those mosaics look fantastic. Great work, milkshakers! Oh, that was top notch. Oh, can we go home and make one now? Yes, but first, can you remember what we've learnt today? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> so today we learnt all about Romans. They were called Romans because they came from Rome. Well remembered. And they lived here thousands of years ago. And they brought over lots of things we still use today. Vegetables and herbs. Hmm. Uh, one more thing. Uh, oh, yes. Romans would make giant pictures by using little stones called mosaics. Very good, Monkey. Oh, <laughs> and the milkshakers showed us how we can all make our own mosaics. Yeah, they were brilliant top nonners. Great work, Monkey. You've learned so much today. You have. Why don't we give mosaics a big, amazing adventure stamp? Yeah. Now, do you know, when I get home, I want to make a Roman piece of art just like the milkshakers. Brilliant idea. Say goodbye, milkshake monkey. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Hey, what's the sea?